programmers welcome back to coding bytes my name is swati and we have with us my fellow tutor kirtana like always kirtana and i are back with another interesting coding challenge this time on half pyramid pattern printing although not asked in interviews a lot pattern programs are still important because they are asked in the online coding test and also of late a lot of you guys have requested for videos on pattern programming and hence we have some exclusive series of videos coming up for you so stay tuned and subscribe to learn with us so guys let's get started now in this video we will look at how to print half pyramid and inverted half pyramid using stars numbers alphabets etc before we even get into understanding them can you quickly guess the output and the difference between these two programs i know they pretty much look the same and the only difference is a slash n but guys this does change our output a lot while the first program prints a series of stars this way this program prints a column of stars and a combination of these two programs is what we would use to get the output and logic for most of the other pattern programs so let's look at the logic for half pyramid now say for example you want to print a pattern of this sorts which is nothing but a half pyramid with only stars so guys uh, i have already written a for loop um to print these five stars all you need to do is you need a for loop which basically iterates through every single row so i have already written a for loop that goes from i is equal to 1 to i less than n n here is nothing but a input taken from the user as to how many rows of stars you want to print so n here in our case is nothing but 5 but i have generalized it and written as n so um and it just keeps iterating through each row so i plus plus and it simply does nothing but once it goes to a row it then goes to another row that's it it iterates through every single row so now we know how to go to every single row but then what do we do going after that you simply have to print number of stars that you want to print so if you analyze this pattern you want to print one star in the first row two stars in the second row three stars in the third row and so on right so i will have another loop for j is equal to 1 to j less than or equal to j plus plus so this j less than or equal to nothing but i for example if i is equal to 1 j should only print one star right so i would say j is less than or equal to i and it simply does nothing but print the star that's it guys this is the logic for printing the given half pyramid so now let's look at the logic for an inverted half pyramid this way so this is nothing but a inverted half pyramid where our n is equal to 5 so if you analyze this pattern you will realize that the first row has n number of stars that is 5 stars the second row has four number of stars the third row has three stars and so on so to obtain the logic for this program uh, it is pretty much the same as our previous program guys the reason being the outer for loop need not change it just performs the function of iterating from row to row and in this program as well we need to do it what changes is the inner for loop which decides how many stars need to be printed in each given row so to obtain the logic for this let us assume only the first row and see how to write a logic that is the j loop for this j is equal to 1 to j less than or equal to n j plus plus so j is less than or equal to n because in our case in the first row we want to print five stars so i start from 1 and go on till 5 so in the second row for example i am writing only logic for second row i wanted to print four stars which is nothing but one less than my previous row so i'll start my j from 2 now for example for third row i'll start it from j equal to 3 so this goes on so in simple if i have to generalize it will be j is equal to i to j less than or equal to n j plus plus and this simply prints the half pyramid that is inverted half pyramid So guys the previously discussed logic works for all values of n 
But what in case you want to print a half pyramid or an inverted half pyramid using numbers or alphabets? All you need to do is simply replace this printf statement which prints stars with uh, numbers or alphabets accordingly. And how do you do this? In case of numbers, replace it with this printf statement which prints J instead of stars. And in case of alphabets, replace it with char of J plus 64. If you are wondering what this char of J plus 64 is, it's nothing but you are adding 64 because uh, the ASCII value of A, that is a character alphabet, is 65. So we are starting from 64. In case J is equal to 1, that is when you want to print A, it says 1 plus 64, which is 65. Now what does this char mean? Char means you are literally telling the compiler to look at the character equivalent of the value 65. So char of 65 is nothing but A. So this is how you do it for printing alphabets and numbers. Since we are clear with the basics now, let us look at a slightly complex pattern program, this one. So this is nothing but the exact reverse of our initial pattern. So to understand the logic for this, let's quickly head to the compiler window and execute it with Kirtana. Hello guys, firstly we have to look at the pattern and analyze it. It surely looks different because there are spaces before stash, but other than that, it's the same as the first pattern discussed by Swati. And hence, to begin with, I have already added the code discussed by her. Making slight changes to this logic will get us the required pattern. Now let's analyze the output. Here if you check the output, it's clear that the spaces should be printed before the stars. Let's take this output. Here, if input is 5, I have 5 rows with stars and spaces together. Let's take the first row. In the first row, I have 4 spaces with 1 star. In the second row, I have 3 spaces with 2 stars. And in the third row, it is 2 spaces with 3 stars and goes on. That means the count of spaces will be always from 1 to row minus 1. Sorry, if the row number is from 5, it will be row minus 1. Let's say if row is 1, row number is 1, it will be 1 to 4. And if row number is 2, it will be 1 to uh, 3. And if row number is 3, it will be 1 to 2. If the row number is 4, it will be 1 to 1. And if row number is 5, it will be 0. The number of spaces should be printed will, will be 0. Now let's try to write the logic for the same. So let's use the variable say k. I'll assume that k starts with i and k always iterates till n minus 1. Therefore, let me put it as k less than n. And let me print the space. Now, let's discuss how this for loop will execute. For the first time when i is equal to 1, k takes the value of 1 to 4. Therefore, 4 spaces will be printed. After this thing is done, the control will be transferred to next for loop. Now here, this for j is equal to 1, j less than or equal to i, j plus plus, 1 star will be printed. Therefore, the first row will have 4 spaces and 1 star. This is how the entire loop will be executed. Now let's try to save and compile. As you can see, all the test cases are passed. So that's about the basics of pattern programming guys. If you have any queries or want to do the solution in other languages, then check out the link in the description box of this video. Hey YouTube, how are you doing? Stay tuned to Facebook for more awesome videos. Don't forget to subscribe.